All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at perhaps the worst YouTube video ever made. I know that that's gonna come as a surprise to you guys because not even counting like your own personal experiences, right? We've gone through some absolutely insane videos here on the channel and talked about them and, and reacted and responded. This is uh, genuinely gonna have to be one of the worst videos that I've ever seen. I mean, th this is just, it it's so blatantly stupid and it's so calloused for no reason. And it just, I, I don't even understand the mentality that leads you to have this opinion, that leads you to say something like this, that leads you to decide that this is something you do. Now this video is coming from a user named Coach Red Pill, which says pretty much enough to me already about what this is gonna be. I, I know that like, you know, red pilling is, is like a meme or whatever. I have genuinely, I think, never seen a single person use that phrase, red pilling, and then be a respectable human being. I'm sorry, I just, I've never seen it, man. Like anytime I ever see someone say anything about red pilling, it's like an edgy 13 year old kid online who's just trying his hardest to like upset people or like use shock humor where shock humor is not necessary or even funny, to be honest with you. So th I think that that's already a bad sign, but honestly, uh, this is a 17 minute long video. So we're gonna go ahead and just really start diving directly on into it. This is a video called Never Date a Victim of Sexual Assault. If that, uh, if that title doesn't say enough already here, then, uh, I, wow. Never date a woman who claims to have been the victim of sexual assault. Okay, so my, my immediate thought, right, is why? Why would I not date somebody who has been the victim of a sexual assault, right? Because me, personally, I feel like I'm a pretty open-minded person for the most part, right? And I just, I don't see sexual assault as something that's like a no a no-go right like a deal breaker right keep in mind that one in five women in the united states will become the victim of a sexual assault during their lifetime at some point which is an absolutely unfathomable statistic right i mean that's 20 percent that's that's crazy you know like that that should never ever be that high that that's some especially for a crime like this that should just not that should not be excusable i mean 20% of the female population. So your idea is to disqualify 20% of all women in this country automatically from being a partner with you for what? Because they've been sexually assaulted? Never. With such a woman, you want to get the fuck away from her. Never get near her. Okay? Now it seems kind of harsh. It seems almost uncharitable. You know, uh, uh, the victim of a sexual assault, well, y you should want to comfort her and help her and, and you know, uh, uh, show her that not all men are that bad and shit like that, right? No, I, what? Am I the only guy on planet Earth who's like listening to this just fucking stunned by what this idiot is saying? First and foremost, no, I, I, if, if someone were to tell me that, right, like that they went through such a traumatic experience, my first indication would not be to respond with, oh, well, not all men are that bad. You know, I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you, but like not all men are that way. Pr trust me, you know, that seems fucking weird in my perspective, right? Like that's not the appropriate response or action that you take in that situation. I, I, I don't know what the fuck this guy's on, bro, but he, he is not, uh, he's not anywhere near the mentality I believe that he should be at here. I mean, you would think so. You would think that that's, the impulse that you would have, or let me phrase that, you will have that impulse. No, I won't. I No, I, I, I don't think I will, bro. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I don't see someone being fucking sexually assaulted as an opportunity for me to prove that not all men are bad. I, I'm sorry, something that traumatic and like wrong, I don't see as an opportunity for me to slide into someone's good side, right? Like, oh, well, you know, I would never do that to you, right? Like, that's some weirdo shit, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some oddball behavior. That's gonna be your impulse. <laughs> you wanna drown that impulse like an ugly baby. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? Drown it like an ugly baby, bro? What the fuck? Dude, it, it, we're 56 seconds in, by the way. Th this isn't even 1 17th of this video. And we're making ludicrous claims, we're saying oddball shit, and now we're talking about drowning ugly bait, bro, what the fuck? I know he's not being literal, right? Like, I, I realize that for what, at least what I can infer from this guy, he's not grabbing an ugly baby and fucking going to the local river, but like, bro. Okay, you want to stop that impulse from the get-go and turn and walk away from any woman who ever 
claims to have been the victim of sexual assault. Because that woman, it's not merely that she is damaged goods, she is somebody who can wreak a lot of havoc in your life. What the fuck, dude? Okay, um, look here, bro. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but a lot of people have endured trauma. I'm not even just talking about, like, you know, this kind of thing, this kind of specific issue. The fact that you just referred to assault victims as damaged goods, bro, is fucking absurd. Like, that, dude, that doesn't even sound like something people would say on this planet to me, right? People who have been fucking violated are not damaged goods, okay? Like, th that, that's the most inhumane thing I've heard somebody say. And then you go on to make the claim that they can wreak a lot of havoc in your life. Guess what, bro? Uh, newsflash for you here, okay? Anyone can wreak a lot of havoc in your life. Anyone can be a piece of shit. Anyone can be a menace. Like, who hurt you, bro? Who, who hurt you in your life for you to have such a stupid take? Well, let me explain. See, when I tell you that you should never date a woman who claims to be the victim of sexual assault, I'm not talking about you being in a relationship with some woman for like a year or longer, perhaps, and she tells you that way back when she was the victim of some horrific incident. That's very different. I don't understand. So you're saying that these people are different. So they're different because uh, these people through trauma have learned that they can express their previous trauma a lot earlier than other people. These people have the ability to process that and, and, and like say that shit out loud better than maybe somebody else that that automatically disqualifies them from somebody that you should be with. Like that doesn't even make any fucking sense. The difference is simply just how soon that they tell you. And honestly, what difference does it make in when they tell you? Right? Like, if you're on the second date with a chick and she brings up, you know, that she was assaulted in the past, right? If that happens to me, I'm not just gonna stand up and leave the fucking table and go home, bro. Like, I, I don't know what makes you think that that's, like, the appropriate response or even the reasonable response. But that is not the reasonable response. You know what I'm saying? That, that is not even close. That's called being a piece of shit. You know? That, that's called being an asshole. That's called being a bad person. Okay. I just want to make that really, really clear. No. I'm talking about those girls who like on the second date or the first date, they tell you, they tell you how they were raped or sexually assaulted or whatever the fuck. They tell you like, like it's, it's, it's a part of their story of their lives, of their identity. Yeah, believe it or not, people who have been sexually assaulted, it's a pretty fucking major event in their life, right? Like, uh, you know, if you're a child and that happens to you, that literally changes the outcome of your life. It rewires your brain. It changes your perspective on people, you know, from at least from what I understand, right? I'm fortunate enough that nothing like this has ever happened to me. But from what I understand, right, like that's what happens. It, it, it's not some fucking minor event. You know, if, if I get into a fender bender with somebody, right, that's a minor event. You know, in two weeks, it doesn't matter anymore. If someone literally fucking takes my innocence from me and ruins my perception of people and, and gives me post-traumatic stress disorder, that's a pretty fucking major moment in your life, don't you think, bud? Well, apparently you don't think that. I, I don't know why I'm even asking you that question, so... Okay. Those are the girls I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a woman who suffered something horrible and just kept her fucking mouth shut and then is with you and, you know, she gets to know you real well and you've been together and she tells you what happened. That's very, very different because, you see, a woman who will tell you on a first or second date that she's the victim of sexual assault, she is looking for attention. So what you're saying is that women who've been assaulted should just shut the fuck up about it and not say anything? Is, is that what you're trying to imply here? Because to me, that's what it sounds like you're trying to imply here. Hey, if something bad happened to you, man, just shut the fuck up until you know him for a long time, right? Like, until you know this person for uh, six months, like some predetermined amount of time, don't say anything. Don't you think that maybe that that kind of stupidity is, is part of the problem with that shit, bud? That's the long and short of it. It's not more complicated than that. She's looking for attention. Yeah. And see, in our society today, a woman who is the victim of a sexual assault, no matter how trivial or how, how, how tenuous the evidence or a fucking non-existent evidence, right? If she claims that she's a victim of sexual assault, you know what happens? Everybody's like, oh, 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 oh. 
She's a victim. She's a victim. Ah! 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 Yeah, the, you know, no more nuance to that, right? You know, it, it couldn't be that that's their way of coping with trauma. It, it couldn't be that, you know, they're actually comfortable just saying that because once again, it was a pretty unfortunately important moment of their life, you know? It, it, it's just the fact that they're all seeking attention. You know, they're just all looking for attention. That makes a lot of sense, bro. You know, the, the logic is, is really uh, showing through here, bro. Your thought process is uh, really showing through here. I understand the, the point of view of wanting to have evidence for things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, unfortunately though, in a lot of these situations, evidence just isn't presentable. How many women do you really think lie about shit like this? How many people in general, because of course men can be the victim of this kind of stuff too. H how many people do you think lie about this? And of course we know that some people will lie about shit like this. It's happened in the past, but out of all of these situations, uh, one in five women, right, will become the victim of this kind of shit in their life. How many of them do you think are honestly lying about the fact that that happened? How, how many of them do you really think are lying about that? I don't know about you guys, and this is unfortunate for me to say, but I know way, way too many victims of sexual assault. You know, way more than I should have to know, okay? Out of every single story I've ever heard, I think maybe zero of them are completely unfathomable stories. I have yet, at least like in my personal life, I, the online stuff, you know, that's different because, you know, I, I don't know these people well enough to like, you know, be able to judge. And even then I'm going to hope and assume that they're not lying, right? But in my personal life, out of all the stories I've ever heard, not a single one of them was just some outlandish fucking fib being told, you know? Every piece of the story adds up. And the, the place that they happened, the time that they happened, some of the people who have been alleged, it all lines up, right? So, I, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say, okay? I, I think what you're trying to say is what you're saying, and I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt that you hopefully really don't think this. But bro, what the fuck? They drop fucking everything and, and they, they, they like go like all ears and all eyes and they stare at this girl and give her their complete and utter attention and credulity, no matter how absurd her story. And so girls have learned, they've learned that if they just, you know, tell some story, some sob story of them being sexually assaulted, yeah, it's gonna get everybody's sympathy. They're gonna get all this attention. And, and potentially other things, attention, resources, you know, they, they won't have to turn in their term paper on the due date or, or do the midterm. Fuck, they'll probably get an A for the whole fucking class just by claiming that they were victims of uh, sexual assault. When has this ever happened, right? Like, look, uh, dude, okay, so I, I went to college for a short period of time. I cannot ever remember or think of any situation in which a girl was like, oh, you know, I got assaulted. And the professor was like, you know what? You're getting an A for this semester. I'm sorry that that happened to you. You, you know, you're, you're completely now free of all responsibilities in this class and in this school. I will be speaking with the other professors about this and we will band together to make sure you pass. Like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, did you ever go to college? Have you ever been past fucking like elementary school? I find it even worse now that I'm looking at this video. Uh, he put in the hashtags because YouTube has like a hashtag search system. He put hashtag sexual assault and then hashtag me too. Both of which are hashtags that victims of abuse have used for the last few years to tell their stories and share their moments. So while people are attempting to share their stories and come out about their personal experiences, this guy is hijacking their hashtags to call them damaged goods, basically say that they're of no fucking value to him, and basically dehumanize these poor individuals who've gone through shit like this simply to be a big fucking hypocrite. So notice how he just said, like, all oh, girls have learned they get attention for this kind of thing. Girls have learned that they can use this to manipulate people. Meanwhile, this motherfucker has made a YouTube video with a shocking title and, and, and metadata to hijack these movements that were, you know, being used by good people, sharing their stories so that he could get some fucking attention on the internet. So he's learned that if he just says some outrageous, shocking shit, and he titles it correctly, he can just get a fuck ton of views. I think that that's where we're gonna stop, man. We're, we're four minutes into this video. He has yet to make any singular cohesive point throughout this entire thing. It's clearly just ridiculous, fucking outdated 18th century thinking. And it, it's absolutely absurd, man. But, uh, uh, so I'm gonna go through this channel and I'm gonna go and look at some of the other takes that he's had. And maybe we'll be back for some follow-up videos because I can only imagine 
that Coach Red Pill here uh, probably has some pretty uh, fucking crazy other takes, right? So... We'll go ahead and see what's up with that. With that being said, though, thank you guys uh, for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. For this video, I decided uh, with, like, the fundraisers and stuff I've been doing, I want to do a sexual assault charity, so that's there. If you do feel like donating, that would be awesome. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Uh, honestly, just stunned that he heard the just mental fucking garbage that he just heard and, and signing out. You've seen cool stuff in your life before. But you've never seen cool shit like this. Introducing Horser. Are we sure what it is? Not really. But is it interesting? Absolutely. Optimus, what do all these luxury cars and videos of horses and nature have to do with Horser? They're specially crafted in that order to make you want to buy shit. To make you think to yourself, oh, th th this Horser brand represents luxury and wealth and nature and I need that. So fulfill the advertisement's role and go buy it. Horser. Keep it on you. Or some shit like that.